Sometimes in the night sky in the far northern or southern latitudes, you can look up in the sky and see an incredible light show. Local 3's Audrey Pentecost tells us more about the mythology and legends behind these lights. The Northern Lights, or the Aurora Borealis, is a natural phenomenon where solar winds travel from the sun to the earth and collide with particles in our atmosphere which creates lights in the sky. When you see these lights dancing in the night sky, it's hard not to think about how people through history explain this phenomenon. The interesting thing about Aurora is that when you look back centuries ago before we knew what the phenomenon was from a scientific perspective, uh, people around the world had theories about what was happening in the skies. A myth that originates in North America and in parts of Canada is given to us by the Inuit tribes. And one of my favorites is um, that these are the torches of the spirits as they lead our loved ones to heaven. Um, so a lot of people make that connection with the Northern Lights. So, oh, what is this mysterious thing in the sky? Um, you know, it looks so mystical and magical. I bet it has something to do with heaven or the afterlife or, um, you know, or spirits when they depart from earth. Legends and mythology behind the lights are present all over the world. Kaylin told us some of these. She told us in Japan they associate the lights with fertility and prosperity. In Scotland, they are called the Merry Dancers. Norse mythology believed they were female warriors in battle, and in Finland, they believed they were fire foxes casting fire into the sky. In Finland, uh, they call them the Ravantelet, which uh, means fox fires. And in Finland, they believe that there are these Arctic fire foxes that come out in the winter and as they race around at night through the snow when their tail hits the snow it shoots up this fiery light into the sky keeping some of these myths in mind maybe they can aid you in your journey to find the northern lights yourself in greek and roman mythology uh, the northern lights um, you know, also known as the Aurora, is considered the goddess of the dawn. Um, Aurora is, uh, you know, it's Latin for the word dawn. The Borealis portion comes from the god of the north wind. So you have um, Borealis, which means north, and Aurora, which means dawn. And uh, the goddess of the dawn, Aurora then, was meant to pull the chariot of the sun god into the sky in the morning. I like to think about that because a lot of times the Northern Lights, people will go out searching for them as soon as darkness hits, right after sunset. But very often, um, the Northern Lights seem to come instead when everyone is fast asleep at three o'clock in the morning or four o'clock in the morning. Um, so I think there must be something to that, that for centuries, people have been talking about the Aurora as the dawn and um, that maybe that's when she most frequently appears. Reporting in Marquette, Audrey Pentecost, Local 3 News.